Hi there, this is Brett with Summit Automotive and we are checking out the two, brand new 2018 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara JL. From this HD video, hopefully you'll be able to get a really good idea of the overall design and what's changed on the JL from the JK for 2018 and the new body style right off the bat. You'll notice that it looks a little bit bigger than the old ones, than the old JKs. They've redesigned, you know, the whole body on this thing. They've made it lighter. They've made it more aerodynamic. They've upgraded it with an eight-speed automatic transmission, which gives it a little bit quicker acceleration and smoother shifts. It's got new wheels for 2018 as well. Those are 18 inch painted and polished aluminum. This is a Sahara package. Also an unlimited. It's been some questions if Jeep was going to stick with the unlimited name or not. And it definitely looks like they've stuck with it for the four door. They've got the Sahara block let lettering right there. A Little bit of indentation on that front fender. These are the 18 inch painted and polished aluminum rims. You still get the little Jeep logo on the rim there. Bridgestone Dueler, 25570 R18 tires. New for the JL is the LED lights in the front fender. This one has the LED lighting group, which gives you the LED fog lamps, the LED ring around the headlamps, and of course the LED headlamps themselves seven slotted grill got just a little bit of indentation for that headlamp they've made the vehicle more aerodynamic aerodynamic they've slanted back the roof or the windshield i should say so it's not so vertical they've also added a little bit of a cool thing they do the T50 for your Torx wrench so it tells you what size Torx that you need for those doors to take those doors off so you can still remove those doors color match fenders are also part of the Sahara package the removable hardtop of course part of the Wrangler group does have the backup sensors which are new for 2000 and uh, 18 on the JL. LED lighting group also gives you the LED tail lamps and they all come standard with a backup camera now. Black clear coat is the color on this vehicle. As we go in the back here you can see it has the bag for your front hardtop pieces. This one has the upgraded Alpine sound system. You can see it still has the three bolts on the inside of the hard top to remove them. New for the JL, you have your windshield washer fluid and your electrical connections right there. You can now put those in a spot. They have a spot for them. They clamp right into there and uh, that way they're not flopping around. The old JKs, you never really knew what to do with them and tried to stuff them down the side or, you know, didn't really know where to put them. Now there's an exact place for them. The roll bars look really good. Lots of storage underneath here. So now you still get the subwoofer and the storage. In 2015, they switched to the subwoofer in the floor, which you lost all that storage space underneath here. You have your bolt holders for your door hinges and your roof. And now they have the windshield uh, bolts that you can put in there as well, because they've made the windshield a lot easier to remove. The rear gate is now lighter and it does have the badge which tells you the overall length and the wheelbase and how much water, water fording you can do as well as where it's built in the little badge on the door that's on all the new Wranglers and the top still closes like they always did that door is a lot easier to close than the ones on the JK it's a lot smoother a lot lighter um, just a little bit easier the new step bars look really good on the Wranglers they're wider 
The mirrors now have the blind spot indicators as well as the heated mirrors. This is a Sahara package, but it has the cloth interior. So you can see what that cloth looks like. You still get the Sahara stitched into the backrest. Has the driver's seat height adjuster right there. This is your lumbar support. And uh, this is for your backrest. Has the all weather topographical floor mats, which are pretty cool. Auto headlamps. And this is what the new door looks like as well. As we hop inside here, you can see the new 7 inch TFT display. Still all the same functionality as the uh, other 7 inch TFTs, it's just a little bit redesigned for the Wrangler. The steering wheel is redesigned as well. You have your cruise control, or um, I'm sorry, your Bluetooth audio controls on this side, as well as your information center controls, that's for that right there. Leather wrapped cruise controls on that side and they still do have the radio controls on the back of the steering wheel. This one has the 8.4 4C radio with navigation. It also has your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatibility. The one thing I love on the new Wranglers is that it has the backup camera which is super high definition, very crisp, very clear, and very nice. Push button start dual climb control, you have your start stop button, your stability control, your backup sensors, your downhill assist control, and you can turn that screen off if it's too bright for you, and then you just touch the screen and it comes right back on. 4x4 four four shifter on the floor, the 8 speed automatic transmission gives it just a little bit more pickup, has the AUGs, USB, and USB-C ports right there. You still have your windows in the middle, the new key fob, has remote start on it, has the hideaway key to get into the doors, and the key fob is very thick, very, it's got a good weight to it, it says Jeep on the back, and just a very heavy duty key fob on there. All weather floor mat on that side, and once again, just the design on the seats there. Looks like the hard top comes off pretty much in the same way that they always did. They've changed the design on the roof just a little bit. has more of like an eggshell 